Hello. We're going to look at how to send data to Kinesis data streams from a Python script that we can run on our desktop. This is referencing the uh, GitHub repository uh, located here, uh, Flink Kinesis Data Analytics. And specifically, we're looking at there's a Python script here, producer desktop, that will use the publicly available New York City taxi trip data and will uh, loop over that data set and send it to Kinesis as JSON records. We're going to look at how to, how to set up this script and how to get it running. The first step before we get too far into running the Python script is we will need a Kinesis data stream to send our data to. I'm logged into the AWS console and I can search for Kinesis. And I can choose to create a data stream here, a Kinesis data stream, or I can also pick off the menu here and go to data streams and then similar, hit create data stream. I'm going to name my data stream a yellow cab trip. Um, it makes it a little bit easier because that's the default name in the Python program. You can, of course, if you name your stream something different, just change it here. And then I'm going to put three shards. Uh, how many shards you pit, pick uh, does depend on, you know, um, it's up to you. The, the program is flexible enough to, uh, to send to as many shards or as few shards as you choose. And I'll create the data stream. And when this is creating, I've already downloaded the uh, repository from GitHub. I have it here. And you'll notice that I have the uh, uh, Python script here. I'll open it up. And then I also, very importantly, have the, the data folder here, which is in the repository as well. If you look at the Python script and the way it works, you'll notice that it's going to open this uh, CSV file in the data folder. And this is the actual data that the program's going to go uh, row by row and, and send it as a JSON message to Kinesis data streams. Um, this is what a, what a message will look like that the program is going to send. So if you want to get a sense for the types of columns that are there, it's a sample message. And again, we're going to be sending it to our data stream uh, yellow cab trip. Um, if you name your stream something different, uh, make sure to change this. Or likewise, if, if you um, put this CSV file somewhere else, make sure to update this path. Um, it should work if you leave it where it is when you download the repository. Um, great. So we have the program you know, uh, downloaded. We have the uh, data available. Um, let's now, before the next step here is, and we also have our Kinesis data stream created. The next step is we'll need to give permissions to that Python program. So there's a, a little bit of setup involved here. Um, I've already installed the AWS CLI on my computer. Um, if you haven't, uh, I did put a link here where to install it. And then I have also pip installed Boto3, the Python package. Um, so what we're going to want to do is, um, you know, to give this Python script permissions to actually be able to send that data to our Kinesis data stream. We're going to type AWS configure. And it's, you know, our system is going to ask us for an access key and a, and a secret. Uh, which it'll use to authenticate. So let's uh, review where we can get this access key and secret from. I'm going to go to IAM in the AWS console now, Identity Access Management. And what we'll do is we'll create a user. Add user. can name your user, whatever you like. And we're going to here select access key programmatic access. We need to give our user permissions. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. I'll just create a group for now. And I'll probably attach um, admin permissions to the group, which is certainly more than what is needed. I would definitely consider scoping down the permissions. Um, this is just for development, so I think it's OK. 
create that group. And we'll make this user part of the group. So the user will be part of this admin group and will have administrative access. And then we'll hit review and create. And what we'll see now is what's available here is an access key and a secret. Um, and this is what the console is asking us for. So it'll be good to jot these down somewhere. Um, and again, what you'll want to do is you'll want to enter your access key and then your secret. So let me take a minute and jot these down. Great. So I, I wrote down my access key and secret. So I'm going to hit close. And then I've gone ahead and I've entered them both in the two prompts above. And once you enter your um, access key and secret, the AWS CLI will also ask you for your region. I'm working in US East 1. It's where I deployed my Kinesis data stream. If you're working in a different region, just you know, feel free to put that in. And then the output here is just from the console how you want the output. So I'll take JSON. Great. So now, now my uh, CLI is uh, essentially like mapped to that user, if you will, and uh, that user has administrative permissions. So um, when I go to run my Python script now, it should be able to connect and send the messages to our Kinesis data stream. Uh, it looks like um, my command line's in the wrong folder. Let me just open that up. And uh, this, the Python script will take a minute to open the CSV file, and then it'll start sending messages. You'll see a, um, it'll print to the console every time it sends a message, just so you can get a sense for if it's sending messages. And if you receive an error, it should, um, there's a bit of error handling built into the script as well. So, great. And there we go. We have, um, yeah, we have messages being sent. We can, um, when these messages are being sent, we can go to Kinesis data streams, and there are a few uh, like charts and metrics there that we can check if you want to confirm. The fact that your message is printed in the console does mean that they are being sent. But if we go here as well to our data stream, uh, there is this monitor section. Th there is a bit of a lag by, um, I've noticed, maybe a couple minutes or so um, between these charts updating and the messages being sent. But if, if we were to leave that uh, console application, um, this Python program running for maybe a couple minutes, we would see that some of these charts would start to show us that there's uh, messages that are being sent successfully to Kinesis data stream. So this is another way that you can validate that your messages are actually being, actually being sent. Um, again, we're probably not going to see anything here immediately. So, but you can, you can run yours for a couple minutes and wait. So in, in review, right, we, we did a couple things, right? We downloaded the entire repository. So we had the data in the Python program. Uh, we created a Kinesis data stream. We ran AWS configure, and we used the credentials from that user that we created so that we have permissions. And then we ran our Python program. And now you can actually see here, we've already started to pick up. We have some um, incoming data entering our stream. It'll be really important that you can um, easily you know, uh, send data to our data stream. The subsequent parts of this repository walk through how to process some of that data with uh, Flink applications. And uh, you know, in order to process the data, you need to send some sample data. So, thanks so much.